Hey, what's up, guys? Nox Fox here with some more Vainglory. I'm doing another post-game voiceover. Um, <laughs> what happened with this one, um, you you may have seen in an uh, earlier video I did where I was pedal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just me and Rumbly went and recorded a bunch of matches one night, and for whatever reason, uh, Rumbly's audio just kind of <laughs> stopped existing for like the last portion of all the things we recorded so um, I, w I didn't catch it in time <laughs> to notice it on the first one but yeah once I saw it there uh, I saw that it was like that for all these videos so I'm just gonna do a voiceover rather than just have like you know just awkward dialogue at the end where I'm just talking to myself and Rumbly can't respond because this audio isn't there <clears throat> yeah so okay so that's that now back to the match um, this is a match where we were running a comp that we've been experimenting with a lot lately. Um, it's it's Weapon Power Arden and uh, Rome Kashka. Or Support Kashka, however you want to <clears throat> identify it. And this time I'm running the Kashka because I just, I've, been, <laughs> I've been playing way too much Arden lately. Um, I mean, Arden's pretty much my main at the moment. He's who I do most of my ranking with. So, I mean, he, he's just going to be around a lot <laughs> just because I'm always playing him. But yeah, it was just too much, so I wanted to I wanted to trade places and see how it went. And uh, it's still a really cool build. Um, even seeing it from the other the other side now, now that I'm uh, now that I've seen it as both the jungler and as the support, it's pretty cool for both members. Uh, we run it because it's super fun to play, but it um, it works fairly well. Uh, one of the big goals of it is to get like early game like jungle dominance, um, just with all the damage. The, the blood for blood with some weapon power on Arden just does some nice chunking and, and everybody knows Kashka is, is already a quite quite a heavy early game hitter can be she can really get damage out we were a little bit wor worried because Kestrel is kind of the same way Kestrel can also be really nasty in the beginning as you can see, we're already both half down in that, <laughs> in that engagement, but we managed to burn down the Kestrel. And now it's just easy to clean up the, the Catherine. And now we have that jungle dominance. <laughs> and we get a little confused about where we're going right here. But then we finally make our way to the backs. <clears throat> and yeah, so that, I mean, that's just basically how we try to run this, this comp is... You just get that early, that early kill, get the backs, and then just keep doing it. As long as the laner lets you, L laner either has to, I mean, he either has to let it happen or he has to come down and you know start missing farm and such. I don't know, but like I said, we mostly play it because it's fun. I'm not gonna try and say it's like some pro strat or anything. It's just, it's just a fun comp. Uh, one of the, I will say that one of the um, useful things about it is um, Kashka already, even if she's going a jungle, is going to be really is going to build tanky. So it's it's not even that like much of a divergence from your usual build as Kashka. You just get you can just get um, like so far what we've been running. Um, well, I mean what Rumbly has been running, and then I just kind of asked him what he's been running because I this is, like I said this is my first time in the position. But yeah, he's just saying just get aftershock and just get the regular you know kind of defense you would want to have as a support, and it just does pretty much fine, and it definitely seems like it does. And so yeah, because of that, then you're just um, getting damage as Arden, but Arden already has a ton of utility even without building a support. He has the Gauntlet, the Vanguard is super nice. It also ends up being a very mobile um, pair because uh, <clears throat> Kashka has her pounce and then Arden just follows up with the Vanguard onto the uh, onto the Kashka like just right there it was a, it was a short hop there but you can kind of see how it works so Kashka pounces in does her spin Arden Vanguard's in which also does damage and then lands an auto attack and then immediately follows up with a blood for blood and it's just a lot of damage all at once it can be really hard to deal with. <clears throat> Let's see, it looks like I'm going for the 
fountain first. I actually wouldn't have mind picking up Stormguard there now that I rewatch it. Seeing as how I'm like f at four kills already and we're being very aggressive. But, I mean, it's never bad to get fountain, so. Either option works. Yeah, also you'll notice I've been having like graphical like glitches with the game and maybe even some sound glitches here and there. It's just been happening to me lately, unfortunately. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> and down I go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so there's the gauntlet. That that utility. Even though the support's down, you still have utility. It's very cool. Yeah, once you uh, once Koch gets level six and you have um, the Arden already with his utility, it becomes very nice because Kasha gets her stun. And then you have. Um, Arden with the gauntlet. I mean, if, if you catch somebody out, they have very limited options for escape because they're either going to get stunned or gauntleted or both. And you, and the team has, like, the composition has very good chase. Um, yeah, and then also the Arden will most likely have a shiv. Um, it's a very good item. Yeah, since um, I actually have more knowledge of the Arden aspect of the build uh, because I play, play it the most, but... Uh, yeah, the shiv um, is really important, um, I just mean, especially if there's going to be mobile characters. Uh, if, if they're not really mobile, you might get away without it, but I, I don't know, most heroes are just mobile these days. <laughs> but yeah, because you have the pounce and the vanguard, I mean, you could make it work without it. But I don't know, it's always just nice to have shiv to stay sticky. It's, it's super useful. Um, yeah, so there's so that's really important on Arden and also the, the one thing I've been doing is it's I build it all around burst damage Which is not what you usually see as weapon power and it it confuses a lot of people I don't know the only person who really does that also I can think of is jewel For the most part most most other weapon power builds want to get like some amount of attack speed in there Or they either already have um, weapon or uh, attack speed built into their kit <clears throat> It's usually one of those two uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's really similar to a jewel build where you just get sorrow blade and crit, and it just those blood for bloods are just monstrous. Once you have uh, the proper items, even early on, as soon as you pick up that heavy steel, um, if you can get that early, it's it's really brutal, especially when you have a Kashka on you too. Yeah, it's definitely um, a comp that catches people off guard. I've noticed that for sure, because they'll they'll confidently engage on us, and then <laughs> and then very quickly have to disengage once they see the kind of damage it's putting out. But yeah, super fun, and yeah, that's done. <clears throat> yeah, just really, it's a really hard uh, comp to escape from. Like I said, because uh, yeah, I'm just gonna Koshka's gonna land the stun. And if, I mean, if needed, Arden can, can follow up with a gauntlet. Or even if you manage to survive through the stun and you start running away, then there's the pounce to worry about, the blood for blood, the vanguard, and the shiv. Very nice. Yeah, watch the, see, just look at that damage that Arden is putting out. And then, yep, follows it up with gauntlet. Kashka stun is down. Usually, I mean, normally that would be... You know, a normal jungler might not be able to pick up that kill, but, but because it's Garden, or <laughs> Garden, because it's Arden, and he has the gauntlet, it's just, it's, um, yeah, it just works great for picking up those, those kills that would otherwise get away. And I'm not sure if I'm going to bring up the score screen again so we can see what Rumbly actually is building, but I'm pretty sure he was asking me, like, what to build so I'm probably um, yeah I've messed around with this before I think I've done I've I've recorded some and I think I've streamed some where I've done like variations of the build um, I don't think any of those any of those are gonna be up on YouTube but maybe if you've seen the stream you might have seen me do some different builds but what I run now on Arden is sorrow blade and double tyrants has been like my go-to and I might change it more as I experiment with it um, I've thought about working in attack speed for the early game, but I've never actually done it. 
so I, I can't really make a comment on it. The thing is, I mean, it seems cool, but I don't want it for my final build. And... Yeah, I mean, if I have to sell it, then I'm just losing money out of it. And so far, I haven't needed it. It's been it's been working just fine without attack speed. Yeah, so I mean, look at the, the, the kind of engagements you can do there. So Kasha jumped in with her stun. And that starts the engagement. And even if, like, they wanted to just run right after that, if we can only burn down one and they were going to escape, I mean, Arden could have followed that up with a gauntlet if he needed to. <clears throat> and, of course, Sky's ult helps, too. With zoning and stuns. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a potential stun on each one of these characters. Yeah, as far as the laner, we don't have like a preferred um, character for laner. Uh, I mean, as long as it's CP, it works fine. Uh, we haven't found one that's like that we prefer over others. Um, we just, you know, we really haven't. We don't really have a third that we try to run in the comp, so we're usually just playing with whoever we find. Either as just like a random laner, or you know, just, just whoever we could find at the, at the time. Yeah, we haven't tried to run this as as a three man comp. It's just a jungle comp so far. But yeah, as long as you got a CP laner, works pretty fine. Clean up. Um, yeah, the Arden um, with once the build is complete, will do insane amounts of damage to turrets. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say that um, he'll be able to take out the turrets in about four to five shots. It's it's really crazy. Um, you, you definitely saw that if you watched some of my streams um, when I was showing off this this build earlier, the Arden, the Arden half of the build. Yeah, the, uh, I'm talking more about the Arden basically because I know it better. I have a lot more, like I've been playing it a lot. And also because the Kashka is pretty straightforward. Like I said, you just get after shock and you're basic. <laughs> oh, yeah, just a death there. I think I got hit by like something that didn't graphically load. Yeah, we actually got ace right here. <laughs> it was kind of a fluke. Um, I jumped in when I shouldn't have. I was like overconfident. And then I got hit with something that I don't think I saw due to like a graphical glitch. Um, I was playing because I still had my fountain. I was planning to just fountain if things look dangerous. And I just never even saw whatever hit me. <laughs> uh, I think I lost my train of thought now what I was talking about in the build. <clears throat> oh yeah, the Kashka. Yeah, she, it's pretty straightforward. You get the Aftershock, you get your defense abilities, and I mean, you play it... I mean, you play the support role, but I mean, your damage is there. I mean, I, as you can see, I'm 10, 2, and 7. I, was, I wasn't even trying to, like, pick up the kills, like, almost in all cases. It was just... Um, I don't know. I mean, it happens really fast in Kashka. It's just no slouch when it comes to damage, even with just an aftershock. Um, as far as as far as build order, you might have noticed, um, but uh, Rumbly was saying that you, you you pick up the crystal bit, and then you still go for your fountain early on, and then you know after you get your fountain, that's when you start thinking about finishing up your your aftershock. Maybe pick up a hourglass first. <laughs> Uh, Black Feather had some stacks. It hit me for 533, it looked like, right there. <clears throat> yeah, you pick up... Um, yeah, so you pick up a crystal bit, and then you don't really do much with damage until after you finish your um, fountain, where you might get, like, an hourglass, and then maybe go for some more support items, defensive stuff. Yeah, finally getting Stormguard. I should have got that much sooner, I feel like. But I wasn't... Like I said, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't used to playing the uh, Kashka half of this build. Yeah, so you get the crystal bit, you get your your fountain, you do, um, from there you probably get like an hourglass and maybe some more defensive stuff, and then, you know, just finish off your aftershock when it feels like a good time to do it. If you don't feel like you need to rush any more support items or defense. Yeah, we also, um, Sky was, uh, the laner was performing very well <clears throat> as well i think it's i think it was jingle geo penguin i haven't checked oh no it wasn't geo penguin it was xpod okay yeah we played we played with both um, geo penguin and xpod that day but yeah xpod doing just fine as sky <laughs> i 
<laughs> taking so much damage. Uh, but I stayed up. Very cool. Oh, I only got hit by the stun. He goes down. Okay, and then Kashka cleans up. That's uh, that's another nice thing. Um, a lot of times, if like. You, like, even if you focus the jungler, like, even if you manage to take him out, I mean, Koshka still does damage. You, you can't ignore her, da you know, damage-wise. And it's like, it doesn't even matter who they take out. This The the damage will still be there, and the utility will st still be there. Because every, like, every character in this composition has some. Um, even, you know, because, I mean, Sky is our particular laner for this um, match. And it's true uh, of her as the as a laner, because her ult um, definitely has some very nice utility and uh, really nice ability to zone and if landed properly can stun. But I mean, yeah, that's that's the thing. Even if you kill Sky, like you get rid of the damage. But I mean, there's still two damage dealers and there's still two people with the utility. If you take out the support or, you know, like I said, doesn't matter who you take out, take out everyone in this comp can um, supply damage and utility, which makes it um, just, yeah, it's just really nice. It's, it's just a super fun comp. I keep saying that, but it's true. And then, yeah, like I said, I don't build attack speed on Arden when I uh, when I play the Arden. And it makes it so... as If you'll see there, Blackfeather bought an Atlas. And the Atlas does absolutely nothing. It's so awesome when they buy an Atlas. The Atlas does nothing against this build. It does not counter anything because it's all just straightforward damage. It's all just auto attack damage and uh, blood for blood damage. It's um, yeah, the burst is uh, the burst happens when you do the auto attack and then immediately follow up with the blood for blood, and it just drops a lot of damage with the proper items. Very nice. It took a lot of damage though. <laughs> trying to get away. Uh, I wanted to get the Warhorn off, but I didn't. But yeah, that's the thing. No matter who you focus, you still have to deal with the other two. If you take down the Arden, I mean, the damage isn't gone. You take down me, this, the, the the utility isn't gone. So of course, item-wise, it's a little different. Cause if you if you can t if you can take me down if you can take the Koshka down before she can use a you know her support items like Crucible or Fountain then that would still be a pretty hard hit to the utility. Yes, yeah, it's, it's starting to look like <laughs> the final confrontation is coming. So of course I pick up a, a Crystal Infusion. Yeah, I was actually asking uh, Rumbly what to do for the last item, and he was saying Broken Myth. So I mean, yeah, if you can get some good defensive items, um, an aftershock and broken myth. I mean, you do not have to worry about uh, a lack of damage. It will definitely be not something to ignore. Along, especially when you consider the storm guard banner is going to be in there too. So far, so good. <laughs> we waited to. Kraken got there to really get in there. All right, one turret's already down. Black feathers just melting. Yeah, and then once Black feathers down, I mean, we feel pretty secure because he's the one that can really get out of hand with the breaking point stacks. I mean, and Kestrel can burst, but she's not gonna be able to take down the three of us before we can take down the Vein. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> you might have noticed just how quickly Arden like damaged that Vein there at the end. Yeah, he's, he does a lot of damage to turrets and veins with that setup. <clears throat> Let's see what he ended up building. I want to see how <laughs> if he was uh, building what I was talking about here. There we go. Okay, yeah, so he was... Um, yeah, so he had the Sorrow Blade, one Tyrants, and then going for a Heavy Blade. Maybe he was going for Double Sorrow, perhaps. It could work too. But yeah, um, guys, it's a super fun build to play. Uh, hope you hope you enjoyed watching this and yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one later. Bye